Today, we're gonna recreate the worst floor plan that I've ever seen in The Sims 4. And this is the floor plan that I'm talking about. I mean, where do you even get into this house? Like, the garage is here, and then this is the front door, and then you have to go all the way through all this mess to get to the master bedroom. I mean, you have to go through a bathroom to get to your own bedroom. I am so confused by this floor plan, and um, today we're gonna recreate it. Yeah, and I'm sure you've already seen other Sims recreate this floor plan. Like, I saw Plumbella do it a while ago, but I was just so flabbergasted guessed when I saw this layout on Reddit, okay, that I had to recreate it. I just, what is even going on here? Do I even want to know? Well, let's recreate this floor plan, shall we? Oh, we freaking shall. Okay, where do I even begin? Maybe we should begin with the primary bedroom as our starting point. I don't know. Okay, so the primary bedroom can be like four wide and maybe like six tiles this way. I don't know. That's our starting point. And then the garage can be six tiles. <laughs> maybe? I am confused. Oh, and then there's like a little bump out here. Is that a closet? Maybe it is a closet. Oh, and then there's like two bedrooms around here, and they each have their own closet. Okay. There's a lot of closets in here. And then we have a teeny tiny little hallway there. Okay. <laughs> sure. And then another teeny tiny little hallway right there. Okay. And then we have a bathroom that goes kind of like so, maybe? And then there's like a little thingy thing right there. And then another thingy thing right there. Is that a closet? Maybe it is. I'm confused. And then a bedroom right along in there. Oh, and then we have like a bonus room right there. How lucky these people are, I tell you. Having a bonus in this room and all. Oh, and then right here, there's another bathroom. Okay. And then the laundry room goes something like so. And then out. Okay. And then we have the living room. Okay. That's going to be a big living room. All right. So something like so. No, that doesn't seem right. Oh my gosh. Wait. And then there's like a, what is that? An outdoor bar. Oh, I don't think I have space for that, but I can, I can make a little something, something. Goes kind of like so, doesn't it? No. Okay. The outdoor bar needs to start here. I see how it is. Right. Okay. So this is the layout so far. <laughs> I mean, it isn't exactly the same as a floor plan in the real life, but this is the Sims, okay? I did the best that I could. I did the best that I could. All right, so here's the garage, and then we have the primary bedroom with a little closet, and then we have a kid's bedroom, maybe, with another closet, another kid's bedroom with another closet. Maybe that can be a toddler. Okay, it's a toddler's bedroom, I have decided. And then we have the bonus room. What is that gonna be? I don't even know. And then right here, we have the laundry room, and the kitchen, and the dining, and the living room. And then in here, we have a bedroom with its own bathroom. Maybe that can be a teen bedroom. Okay, that's gonna be the teen bedroom. And then we have, what was that again? Closet space, maybe? I do think so. And then right here, we have the bathroom and another hallway and then another closet and a hallway there too. Oh my gosh, I am so confused by this, but <laughs> but okay, there's a layout, people. There is a layout. Chiba, chiba, jo. okay. Well, all right, now let's begin with the exterior of this house. And I am so scared because what the heck am I gonna do with the roof? What? <laughs> I mean, what if I just begin with this sort of roof? Just all along there. Then I take it down a little bit, maybe curve it a little bit. Oh, ah, that could be a vibe. No, I don't know if that could be a vibe. Oh, this is gonna be horrible. Okay, well, I'm gonna put up a roof on there too. Oh, bada bam, bada bam. Fantastic, people. And then maybe you can have like a half gabled roof right there. With some spice, maybe. <laughs> oh, jeebly. Maybe I like that. Do I like that? I don't even know. Oh, this is gonna be bad. What if I have one of these roofs as well? With some contrast. Oh, good golly gosh. May, may oh, maybe. Is it gonna be better if I put up some uh, roof tiles? No, that was not better. Oh, yikes. All right, welcome back. It's a long while later. Um, I have been fiddling with this roof for so long now. I mean, this shape of a house is impossible to roof. Everything just looks bad. And I, I, oh. But here's how it's looking so far. <laughs> Do not even ask me about the back. I'm not finished with the back yet, but I'm kind of finished with the front. I knew that it was going to be weird no matter what I did. So I just, I leaned into the weirdness with the shapes, okay? <laughs> Maybe it will turn out good. All right, do not judge yet. Leave the judging for after. And now I'm gonna put up some freaky frackety wallpaper. Huh? What do I wanna go for? I think I wanna go for sort of autumnal vibes or fall vibes, post vibes. So I think I'm gonna start off with uh, this brick maybe. Oh, it's not brick, it's a stone. It's a stony moment for this part of the build. And then the other part of the build, what can that be? That can be sort of like so. Ooh, yeah. Maybe that is the vibe. Let me put up some windows as well. What windows do I wanna go for? Oh my gosh, the questions of life. You know what? I can go for sort of like so with these windows. I mean, that's a, that's kind of a vibe, isn't it? I do really think so. Oh, and then we need a door as well. Okay, I'm gonna go for this door. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, and you know what else I want? I want to have a little roof up in front here. So we can have a teeny tiny walkway to that, uh, whatever that is. I think that's a splendid plan. Let me get my roof on. It's like so. And how will that look when I put up some columns? I mean, yeah, it looks all right. I think I'm gonna do that. All righty, that is my roof. And I also put this building on the foundation. And then I realized we have a garage. So that means I have to 
um, do some maneuvering around here. And last time that I had a garage on the foundation, I used this roof to make a little pathway up there and it went horribly. Let's extend it out. No. Get back to your place. Get down to the floor. Oh my God. No. I'm gonna move you. I'm gonna move you. For the love of God. I hated every second of it. Okay, I couldn't make it work. So my other plan is to make a sloping terrain up to that garage. Because people has told me that is a lot easier. So we shall see if that's a lot easier. I do not trust them though. But oh, by G, by Joe. No, that's gonna be horrible. What if I do... <laughs> no. What if I do flatten to height? Would that be better? The... Uh... Well, it's just very lumpy. Oh, this is gonna take me all day. The people who said that this was easier, I just want, I, I want to talk. I just want to have a little talk and I want to ask you if your mental health is okay because I'm kind of worried now. Because what? Ah! No, I'm deleting everything. Goodbye. I'm gonna focus on this instead. <laughs> so I, I want a little pathway right here, but I'm not gonna put this on a foundation or anything like that. I wish that I could put it on a platform, but I can't because then it's gonna be the exact same height or a hole into the abyss. So it's just gonna be on the ground. Pa -pa but I am gonna put up a little fence, like so, just to get some contrast, you know, frame it all in. Yeah. All righty tighty. So here is the exterior of the house in all its glory. Put up all the windows with the plant boxes. And it's looking kind of lovely with the lights and everything. Mm -hmm. Put up some vines too. That's always good. And now for the big part, it is time for the landscaping. Oh, I have no idea what my voice did right there, but it did something. But any hoozles, it's now time for the landscaping. And you know what I was thinking? Now that I've finally got my tool mod back, I want to make some elevations with my terrain tools. Oh, yeah. So first off, I'm just going to prop up the foundation a little bit more. Maybe like so. Yeah. And then I'm just going to raise up the terrain around it. Oh, okay. That's enough, right? <laughs> that is enough. Okay. Okay. So we got some terraining right now, as you can see all around here. And I thought of putting my staircase right there. Yeah, that can go. Okay. No, it can't go. It's going to stay. You're going to stay, Mr. Staircase. And then, <laughs> and then I was thinking uh, right here on this side, I want to make a little cliff edge with some rocks and stuff. That's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put up my rocks and I'm going to use Batu rocks. I'm sorry for everyone who doesn't have Batu, but I just got it. I bought it when I did the shell challenges and I'm going to put up some rocks from Batu because I do like them. Actually, that does some good rocks and I'm putting them up. And I'm also putting up some plants too because that's good to have all around town just planting away. Oh, okie dokie. So here we have my little cliff edge <laughs> right in front of there. And then I was indeed thinking of putting up a little pond to have a little pond moment. So let me make a little pond. Uh, if I can do it though, what is that? Oh, good golly gosh. Alrighty, so here is my pond. Oh, lovely, lovely. And now I just need to put some pond plants in it. Pond plants? I don't know. And I'm also gonna put in some ducks, because that's important. And that is me pond. Wow. You can't see the ducks right now, because you have to go into live mode, and I don't want to do that right now. Ugh. Okay, and now for the garage. I need to do the terrain for the garage, and I need to do it neat and nicely, or else people won't get into their garage, and that's gonna be bad. So I'm gonna do that if I can. Alright, welcome back. I'll try to make it terrain for the garage. It was horrible. I did not like it. It's still not straight, but it is as straight as it's ever going to be. So, ah, no. Oh, on this part here, we can have our mailbox and our trash cans, actually. That's a good idea. I'm gonna do that. And I'm also gonna put up some pumpkins by the trash cans because, you know, Halloween is over. People are throwing away their pumpkins. Realism right there. All right. <laughs> well, all right. Let me put up some pathing around here. Pathing, pathing, pathing. And then I'm gonna put some rocks around the pathing to find frame it all in, which is gonna be so lovely. I love, I love that. Well, I do love it in the end, but not when I'm doing it because I'm constantly thinking to myself, Nora, what are you doing? Please seek out some help. But anyways, here's the path thing. <laughs> and I do actually think that I want to put up some rocks on this little edge right here by the garage. I do think that's gonna be neat and nice for us. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm also gonna put up some plants around the rocks as well, all neat and nicely. Oh, and would you look at that? I put up the rocks and I put up the plants as well. Why am I doing this to myself actually? What? <laughs> Okay. And I think I'm also gonna put up some plants in here too. Just some little all good plants for the planting sake. I think that's looking very lovely actually. I do say so Misa. Wow. Okay, and then in the back here, I need something in the back here. Ooh. I do think I'm gonna put up some more rocks around this edge to make a big old cliff edge. Kinda top of a deal. So yeah, I'm gonna put up my rocks again. And isn't that gonna be an enjoyable time? I do really think so. <laughs> I hope so at least. Or else I'm gonna waste so much time on nothing. Alright, and here are me rocks. Aren't they beautiful? I do love them so much. Well, what else are we gonna have in the back here? I think on this platform we can have an outside table, can't we? I mean, that seems like a good idea. So I'm gonna put up my table right there. And then, ooh, right here we can have a grill. Yeah? With some counters. Maybe these ones. Yeah, that can work. And then just some nicky knacks on those. Oh, yes. That is a good moment. <laughs> and then right here, what if I put up some hay bales? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, that looks kinda 
cute, doesn't it? I do like that. Okay, I'm gonna keep that. And then over here, what can we do over here? I think first of all, I'm gonna put up a fence. The fence is all in because this is scary Mary. Oh, and then I can put up a little fenced in area right here. And then I can have a chicken coop in there. Wouldn't that be cute? I mean, it's a little tiny space for chicken, but they can roam around here too, you know? Oh, and then in that little chicken coop, I can put up this random chair so you can sit and watch your chickens. I don't know. <laughs> and then right here, I can put up some more plants and a bench. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of cute. Oh, and then over here, I can put up another bench with some plants. Oh, they love them benches, these people. They really do. And here is the landscaping all done and dusted. And I do really love it. Look at this. Look at the back here with all the cute little plants. The chicken coop and all the rocks around here too with all the plants that you could ever want. I mean, oh my, oh my. I love it. It is so cute in it. <laughs> and now, my friends, it is time to do the interior of this house. And I wonder how that's gonna go. I really do. Oh, okay. Alrighty. What are we gonna start with first? Ooh, maybe we can start with the garage. I don't know why, but I felt like it. Oh no, I'm gonna put up some flooring actually. Just everywhere I go to see how it's looking. Okay. I mean, yeah. Okay. Now I'm gonna do the garage. I just needed to feel out the vibes that was all <laughs> the vibes of the flooring all right so for the garage maybe we can go for sort of like this maybe that is a nice garage flooring and then some nice garage wallpaper i mean we can go for this <laughs> perfect and then of course for the garage we need a car and i'm gonna put in the debo car Ooh, hello that one yes in the blue wonderful day and then what else are we gonna have in this garage <gasps> maybe we can have like a little painter art studio because one of them is a painter they're an artist they love to paint so i'm gonna put up an easel. Oh, and maybe a light too. And then this little painter stool. They might need that. With some teeny tiny paint brushes on top. Oh, and then of course some things on the walls. Yes. That's what we need. Things on the walls. <laughs> oh, and I can also put up this splashy paint matters. That's what I can put up. Yes. Oh, and I can also put up this table right there maybe. Yeah, that's a good spot. With some little paint yeah, on it too. <laughs> and then just some more mess everywhere. Everywhere I go I put up the mess. Oh, and then of course we need a woodworking table. That's important. Tante. Ooh, that's looking so nice. I love that. Oh, and in that corner, we can have these lockers. Oh, that's gonna be cute. I kind of like that vibe. Yeah, cute locker vibe. <laughs> and then right here, what am I gonna have here? I mean, I can have a sink and the little prison mirror. <laughs> oh, and this very dirty cabinet. Ah, oh, yes. And some paint. Yeah, that is important. Very important. And oh, wow, what a garage it was. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next room. What's that gonna be? And as you can see, I have put up some random wallpaper and random flooring just to feel out the vibes because I do wonder what the vibes of this place is going to be and I think I figured it out. Yeah. So this was going to be the living room and here's the front door and I do not like that. I do not like when you step right into the living room from the front door. That gives me the heebie-jeebies. So what I'm going to do instead, I'm not allowed to put up walls. Like I can't put up a whole nother room, you know, but what I can do is to put up a little half wall just to divide this place a little bit, you know, just to get a little bit of separation from the entryway to the living room. Okay. Just a little bit of separation. And then, of course, I'm gonna put up a little table there. It's not a hallway without a hallway table. Oh no, it's not a hallway. It's an entryway, whatever. And then I'm gonna put some nicky knacks on there. And what is that gonna be? I do wonder sometimes. All right, I just put up some plants, some little nicky knacks, a picture frame, a basket, an umbrella stand. That is important to have an umbrella stand, I tell you. What else can I have in this entryway? I mean, I can have a little carpet. I have a little carpet moment. Ooh, and then we need some shoes right here. That is important to have some shoes in the hallway. No entryway. Gosh darn it. And of course, a little clothing rack right there. Can I squeeze it in without touching the shoes? I mean, yeah, that's all right with me. <laughs> all right, and then on that wall, what do we need on the wall? I can put up some handbags and the hooked on storage that I can put up. And that creepy little bug light that I love right there. Yes. Oh, and I'm also going to put up this thing, the thermostat. I don't put that up often, but today I'm going to. Boom, shamalam. All righty, and now for the living room. And what am I going to do for the living room? I do. Oh, that is annoying that the window is there. Oh, no. Okay, I have to see what I'm gonna do with that window. If I can move it or not. I do. Oh, okay. But anyways, what type of couch do I wanna go for? Oh, I really like this couch. Hello. Huh. Do we have a smaller couch that fits that vibe? No, not really. Of course we don't. Well, what am I gonna do then? Maybe I can put up this couch. I just get in another color. Maybe, oh. Maybe that could work. I know it's not the same vibe, but literally, what else am I gonna do? Put up this? No. This? Uh, oh, no. Okay, I'm gonna put up that. Let's see where this goes. And I can also put up this carpet maybe Ooh, and then for the coffee table i am thinking of putting up this one yes with of course some coffee table naked and isn't that so cute 
I do think so. <laughs> All right. And then on the side here, I want a little, little table. So I can use this table maybe and then just size it down. Yeah. In another color. Yes. And then some little naked eggs. Yes. Ah, oh, nice. And then I do think I want a fireplace. So maybe this fireplace could work. Maybe, maybe if I just put up some brick walls around it and then just frame it in with some columns. Yes. And then I do think we need some fireplace naked eggs because a home without fireplace naked eggs is just a house. Is that how the saying goes? I don't even know. <laughs> Okie dokie. And then over here, what can we have over here? Maybe a bookcase. That could maybe work. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to put up my bookcases and my bookcase naked eggs and I'm going to hope that everything will be all right. Just otherwise, I don't know what to do. And all right, it turned out pretty cute. If I do say so myself, got my axolotl, got my hen, got everything I need up in here. Beautiful. And I'm also going to put up my little basket over there. Perfect. Oh, and also some pictures. And this curtain, maybe, 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 maybe. I mean, sure, that can work for normal. <laughs> oh, and then over here, I can put up a little table. And you know what I'm going to put on that table? I'm going to put up a record player and a little flower. Beautiful. Oh, and look, to make that little flower thingy thingy, I just use this can and put a flower in there. I felt like it, really. Oh, and then I think I'm going to put up a high chair right there because I don't know where I'm going to put that yet. So I'm just going to put that there so I don't forget because sometimes I do forget. <laughs> okay, so that was the living room. Now we need to do the dining room that was supposed to be here. So, I mean, we need a small little table that we do indeed need. So I can put up this table, the cutesy one, and some chairs and maybe some little pictures right there. Who knows? Who frickety frickety knows these days? Alrighty, and then for the kitchen. And I do think I want a little bit of separation from the kitchen to everything else. So you know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna draw up some little fences like so. And then I'm gonna lower this piece down a little bit just for the separation, people. Alrighty, and then for the counters. What type of counters do I want? <gasps> I think I wanna go for these type of counters from the country kitchen kit that I haven't used before. I think that is a swell idea. And I can also use the stove. Ooh, that is so cute and pink. Ooh, and also the sink. Oh, and the fridge. Oh, that is lovely. Very lovely. And then, you know, I also need to put up some cabinets. Oh, that is not lined up correctly. Okay. Oh, that cabinet piece is so fancy. Look at that. Oh, wow. Well, that is very, very cool. And you know what's going to happen now? I'm going to put up some kitchen naked knacks. <laughs> and it's going to be an enjoyable time with my kitchen naked knacks. You're going to put them up everywhere I go. Very neat and nicely. And there was indeed my kitchen naked knacks. Oh, it's looking so cute in here. I love it so much. Look, I even put up a little mixer over there with some stuff. And over here. I put up a coffee machine, some coffee and some books, and oh, it's so cute in there. I love it so much. Ooh. All right, and then <laughs> over here, what am I going to do over here? I do wonder. I can put up a smoke alarm, because why not? And I'm also going to put up a trash bin. Wow. And a broom. And on this side, I'm going to put up some aprons and this coffee machine display. Yes. All right, so over here, that was supposed to be the laundry room. So we need some laundry machines. Laundry machines, washing machines, dryer, you know, you know. <gasps> so I can put up the pink ones. Oh, yeah. Yes, this is going to be lovely. And I think around the washing machines, I'm going to put up some counters. Bobbity bum. With these cabinet. Wah, wah, boo, on the shelf that I've sized up. Oh, that's going to be lovely. I do think that this is going to be a good, good vibe, I do tell you. Mm. And then over here, what can we have over here? I mean, I can put up this uh, rusty sink. <laughs> the DIY sink. And this little counter right next to it. It doesn't really fit, but it kind of fits. And that is the only thing that matters in this world. That it kind of fits. All right. Not exactly, but a little bit. And then right here, we can have some little laundry baskets. Yes. And this uh, thing on the wall. I don't know what it is, but it is something. And I'm going to put it up there. Magical. <laughs> oh, and then for in here. What am I going to do in here? This is such a big room. I can't have another living room like this, you know. That's going to be absurd. So what am I going to do instead? <laughs> hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting conundrum indeed. Okay. What if I put up a half wall right there? And then on this side can be a little working corner with the desk and stuff. And then on this side can be the fun room for the children where they can have a TV and like a PlayStation and stuff. I think that could be an idea. You know, I really do think so. So I'm going to put up my curtains. I don't know why I'm doing this first, but I saw these curtains and I got inspired and I want to use them if I can fit them on though. Ah, right. And then for the desk area, I think I'm going to put up this table. And then I'm going to put up another table like so, so we can get a little corner desk moment. Boom. And then to stop the glitching, I'm going to raise it up a little bit. Like it so. Boom. No more glitching. And then I'm going to put up a chair. That's important to have a chair when you have a desk. And also a computer maybe. Bada -bada 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 -bada. Ooh, and you know what? What if I put up this corner piece right here? Yeah, that's actually for the kitchen. If I can make it work, though. All right, I made it work. It was lovely. <laughs> and then I can actually put up this thing. What is that? A mood board. Okay, I'm gonna put up a mood board. And then I'm gonna put up on my desk naked in X everywhere I go. And I do feel like the person who has this desk corner is an architect or something. Something, something along those lines. Like an interior designer, maybe. So they need a lot of stuff. Oh, yeah. And look at that. That is so 
cute with all the freaking drawing stuff and the blank piece of paper for all her hopes and dreams and on the wall here i just put up some diplomas you know you know some postcards they are all working soon oh i love this space and of course i put up a little rug under there just in case their feet gets cold okay and then on the other side <laughs> what am i gonna have here i was gonna have a little fun room so we need a tv boom then i'm gonna put up a little couch and what is that gonna be maybe i can put up this couch that's kind of cute isn't it yeah i do like that and i can also put up a little bean bag wow a little sack of sack never hurt anybody and then of course a tv table where you can have all your stuff on and the stuff that i'm gonna put on there it's gonna be a surprise <laughs> but i'm gonna put up a playstation and some other stuff and that's exactly what i did <laughs> and then maybe i can put up a lamp oh and this cross stitching box oh yes and then i do indeed need a carpet to frame it all in and what carpet is that gonna be i don't know why but i'm kind of feeling this carpet i am that's a surprise even for me but all right i think i'm gonna go for that yeah i mean they are a weird family so they can deal with that carpet you know okay and then over here maybe we can have a little piano a little little piano that fits in doesn't it yeah it kind of fits in i mean it's a little bit squeezed in there but i think they can manage these people can manage anything living here i do tell you i do tell you oh, why am i singing just put up your pictures nora and go oh, okay why am i so mean to myself today oh my gosh what have i done to myself <laughs> oh by the way that trunk is so cool i love that with all the stickers and stuff oh i want that in real life all right and then right here we can have a lot of bookshelves and stuff i do think yeah that we can do now i'm gonna put my nickety knacks on those bookshelves make it real funky up in here and that is indeed what you did wonderful even put up a little naked man right there <laughs> okie dokie oh this room turned out so cute i like it okay okay oh i gotta stop singing like i really do it's getting annoying now okay okay so in this room that was supposed to be the teens bedroom oh la la i am afraid of the teens so this is a very scary moment for me but what bed do i want to go for oh i kind of want to put up this bed that's really cool the one from love struck <laughs> i like that bed and then maybe <gasps> maybe we can have like a little even more room in here wouldn't that be fun for us oh yes with the black carpet oh that one oh no that's too much that's where i draw the line then i need some sweet sweet wallpaper okay what about this wallpaper the one that i said that i was never going to use i mean yeah sure it's a little bit too much but sure once in a lifetime people <laughs> and then i think that some walls should be this regular wallpaper regular wallpaper the wallpaper that we use everywhere just in black it's kind of annoying that it has a gold trim on it but whatever you can't do everything right in life okay Ooh, and then i'm gonna put up these doors instead oh that is so cool I like that. And then actually on the walls, I'm just gonna put up a lot of lot of posters and stuff. Oh, and also some records. Oh yes. A vinyls. What do they call in English? In Norwegian we say El Peplate. But I'm guessing you don't say that in English. <laughs> just a while, yes. And another poster. And this creepy, creepy collage of the Polaroids. And some more scrapped up posters. And of course you need a little bedside table. That's also important to have. Not just posters. And this broken lamp. Sure, why not? And this box of stuff. Why not? And another box of stuff. Because they are tea and teen loves boxes of stuff they truly do i have done my research some demographic research and the research said that they like boxes all right and then on this side of the room maybe we can have a bookshelf this very scruffed up one that's kind of nice i do like that vibe actually and then we can have a teeny tiny little desk over there i mean it's kind of annoying that it doesn't really fit with the color scheme but what am i supposed to do i'm gonna put up a chair a very scruffed up chair <laughs> oh and then i'm gonna put up this computer yes with the streaming gear and everything <laughs> i mean okay that's kind of funny Oh, and that's some more posters. Yes. Oh, and this box of records. Oh, that's so cool. I want that in real life, actually. Well, I do have records in real life, but I don't have them in a cool box like that. That I do not have. Sadly, I am not cool enough for that. So I'm going to put up a shelf instead with some Nicky Nacks on it. Yeah. And then to finish this all off, I am going to put up these string lights. If I can do it correctly. <laughs> it's so annoying because these string lights are so low down. Like, anyways, I'm going to put them up and it's going to be lovely. As the piece of resistance. I'm going to put up me string lights. And I do think that is a very, very cool bedroom, if I do say so myself. I like it a lot. It's very, uh, <laughs> it's very out and about there, isn't it? But I like it. I really do. And by the way, just a quick question. What type of style is this? Like, exactly what type of style is this? Because it's kind of grunge, kind of emo, kind of punk, but not really. Um, okay. I'm just gonna wait for the answer in the comments. I'll be waiting. <laughs> now for the bathroom. What am I gonna do for the bathroom? I'm gonna make the bathroom really, really dark. That's what I'm gonna do. Yes. Then I'm gonna put up a counter with a sink in it. That's important. And then a mirror. So you can look at yourself in the mirror. Ooh, and then a toilet. There we go. And a little cabinet above the toilet. And the toilet plunger. <laughs> also very important. You never know when you need it. Never, never know. And the toilet roll. And I'm gonna put up these angsty, angsty posters. <laughs> that we 
werewolf on the motorcycle. I kind of want that in real life. That's kind of cool. And a robe. And some more scrapped up stuff. This teen, I tell you. Leaving havoc on the place. And that was the little bathroom. It's kind of sad that uh, I couldn't squeeze in the shower in here, but whatever. Maybe this uh, teen doesn't shower very often and it's not a problem. Alrighty. What are we going to do with this little space, by the way? I am kind of confused. I don't want to put another closet in there because that's boring. Maybe we can have a little utility closet instead. Because that is not boring. <laughs> but <laughs> what if I put up some shelves? Like so. And then I just put stuff on there. Oh, this is such a tiny space. How am I going to do this? Okay, well, uh, I can start off with putting some stuff on the bottom first. I'm going to put up a light. Why? I do not know. Oh, and another record box, maybe? Yes. Oh, not like that, though. And a random box. And another random box. Okay, so that was the bottom layer. Now we got to put up our shelves. Just like a cake, people. Got to do them layers. And then I'm going to put up a lot of Nicky and Axe and Love shelves. And what is that going to be? Maybe some towels, some boxes, stuff. And it's going to be wonderful. Oh, I kind of like this little room, to be quite honest with you. Got me shelves. Got me vacuum. And my calendar. You know, you know. What a space. What a space. Okay, and then for this bathroom, I'm going to put up a sink. And there's my sink. <laughs> and again, a mirror. And also a toilet. That's always a good idea to have a toilet. It's my toilet, Nicky and Axe. As usual. Oh, and this thing. Very lovely. Wow. <laughs> I don't even know what that thing is. A foot cushion toilet mat. I've never heard about that before. Oh, and then in this corner, we can put up a hamper. And uh, what is this? The cabinet thing. Oh, that's a skinny cabinet. It's a skinny legend, people. Watch out. And then what do we need? We need a bath. Tub. Bath tube. That can be right there. Bam. Oh, and I'm also going to put up some towels. Of course, that's important. Some very, very messy towels. Right. And then above that bathtub, I'm going to take these shelves. Lap them on top of each other like so. Look how big this shelf actually is. It's a monstrosity. But I'm going to do it like so. And I know it's glitching right now, but I'm going to fix that later, okay? I've got to fix that later. But first, I'm going to put up my naked axe. My bathroom naked axe. With some pictures too. Wow. And there we go. Right. For this room. What's this room supposed to be again? A toddler room? I do think so. Okay, I'm going to change the wallpaper a little bit. Those. Maybe do something like so. Oh, that's kind of cute. Okay, I like that. And then we need a toddler bed. And what toddler bed am I going to choose? I mean, I could go for this one. Or I could go for this one. But I think I'm going to go for this one. Boom. Because it's just so cute. And it kind of fits the vibe of this house. If you think about it. It's very long and hard, okay? <laughs> and then we need a little night table and i kind of want to use this table oh my gosh that is a big big table <laughs> that is just as big as the bed itself oh my gosh maybe i can size it down like so and just squeeze it right there and i'm also going to put up some sweet sweet nicky on that some teeny tiny nicky knacks on that teeny tiny table on this teeny tiny day oh i should make a children's book one day i feel like that's where my life is going at this point <laughs> and isn't that little table so adorable i tried to squeeze stuff on there but it's such a teeny tiny table okay but it does really look like a toddler's night table okay night time table i I can never say that word correctly. Night time table? Night stand table? No. I give up. I can't. I gave the toddler a cat radio, okay? And I'm moving on now. All right, the tighty. So I'm going to put up this shelf. <laughs> See, I'm moving on, people. And I'm going to put up my naked axe on there. And what is that going to be? I'm going to put up a little basket and uh, some toys, maybe. Yeah. And that is actually very, very cute. I do like it. Oh, and this little cloud lamp. Oh, that is so cute. Yes. And then over in this corner, I mean, we can put up a chair with a carpet and a lamp and a little book shelf. My first library. Okay. Whatever that is, I'm going to put it up. <gasps> these teeny tiny pictures. Oh, that is cute. And do you think that these curtains will work for this room? I mean, yeah, kinda. I've just come to turn with the curtains right now, okay? I can't even be mad at them anymore. But look at this cute old dollhouse. I love that so much. I also want that in real life because it's so cute. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but look at it, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> oh, and then we need a toddler party. Can I fit that into the bathroom? I mean, not really. What am I gonna do then? Put it there? Sure. And I know that I've blocked off literally every single entrance to the closets. I know that. That. You cannot use these closets, but just think about it, okay? Does a toddler really need all that closet space? This teeny tiny toddler needs all that closet space. I don't think so. So I'm just doing them a service, really. Uh, <laughs> let's move on to the kids' bedroom. What is this gonna be? Oh, maybe I could put up this blue wallpaper. Oh, that's kind of cute. I like that. Can I have a blue moment? Okay, so for the kids' bedroom, I think I want a bunk bed. And we can go for this one from the horse ranch pack. Oh, ooh, that's gonna be lovely. I like that vibe. Oh my gosh, and I spilled some coffee on my keyboard. That is not good. And I hope you cannot hear the ASMR of my napkin, by the way. That would have been bad. And yes, if you were wondering, I have some dobs out of it. What is that called in English? Christening napkins? You know when the baby gets the water on its head? That sounded kind of strange. <laughs> these are napkins for that occasion. And why do I have these napkins, you ask? It's because they were cheap, okay? They were on sale for one dollar. And Nora then saw an opportunity to finally buy some napkins. In this economy, I tell you, I'll buy anything. Right. And <laughs> okay, right the bed. I want to have some little plushies on there so I can have this penguin and this little hard one. Oh, that's cute. I don't know why I did that before anything else, but that's where my mom went today. 
then all right and then for under here we need a little desk so i'm gonna put up this desk beautiful and also a chair and do i want to go for this blue chair yeah sure why not and then we need a little computer so i'm gonna give them this ipad and also some naked necks some desk naked necks for the vibes for the vibes of this house i mean oh my gosh isn't this so cute <laughs> i love it it's so adorable oh and then oh in this corner we can have this little doll house yeah and then also a shelf right here with some naked necks on that and what are those naked necks gonna be you ask well it's gonna be books and a picture frame and some toys wow oh maybe we can have a little violin as well this kid is a violinista that's not a word is it i don't i don't think so but i can put up some skateboards on the wall yeah oh my gosh i wish we had an actual skateboard in this game that would be so cool or like a razor scooter or something that would be actually really cool and then for the curtains oh no you think these will work if i size them down no not really oh yikes okay i'll come back to that i don't ah oh and then for the primary bedroom oh wow 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 we need a bed i think i'm gonna put up this bed this is one of my favorite beds actually and some little nighttime stand tables that i've sized down oh and i'm also gonna put some naked knacks on those bed night stand stand table <laughs> I think my brain has finally caputed itself. Caputed itself. I don't think that's a word, Nora. Caput? It went caput? It imploded on itself. That's what it did. Well, if you're wondering what I'm doing now, I'm putting up some pictures to make a nice old picture collage wall. Just forget about the caput word, okay? Just forget about it. And we can all live peacefully together again. Like a family. Ooh, and I also want to put up this little ottoman. It's called a hippopotoman. What? Hippopotoman? Hippopotoman. I'm not saying that word. That is my absolute limit, that word. But anyways, I think right by this window, I want to put up this tag. Table. And that is a very nice table, I do gotta say. It's not a table, is it? It's a, um, yeah, it's a table, actually. Hallway table. Wow. Anyways, here's my table. <laughs> uh, oh, I gotta figure out these frickety frackety curtains one day, but not today. But I'm gonna put up a lamp and the chair, too, in that corner. Oh, and Bone Hilda. We cannot forget Bone Hilda, people. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, and then in this corner, I'm gonna put up a mirror. A very big old mirror. Oh, oh wow. And I can also put up this, uh, what is this called? A Retroplex TV console. Oh, yeah. Now this thing right here, it isn't actually a TV, it's just a table, which oh, I so wish that it was a TV, because that would have been so cool. But maybe in another lifetime that could have been a TV, maybe. And to top it all off, I'm gonna put up this. Mustang, Lance, Volvan, Tapestry, pop it. No, Tapestry, I oh, almost made it. <laughs> and okie dokie, dude, that was the primary bedroom. Looking neat and nice, people, looking neat and nice. And I think I'm done with the house now, actually. I mean, let's have a little look at the floor plan. Oh, okay, I mean, we got the garage, everything. Thing, all in the same way and oh no oh no i forgot the entrance to the bathroom that is right oh no i gotta get rid of this bookshelf oh but i love that bookshelf so much okay can i oh it's all stuck together okay ah i gotta fix this mess that is so sad i love that bookshelf but it's gotta go and i gotta get rid of the whole bookshelf too Ugh, that is annoying but all right oh my gosh are you kidding me are you actually joking it doesn't want to go on that oh uh, go on that bookshelf no why hello oh my gosh please just go on that bookshelf oh my gosh i cannot do this anymore no. Why is it stuck to that one? I'm flabbergasted. It doesn't want to go on there. What have I done? What have I done to deserve this? It's misery. I'm going to lose my marbles. Oh. Gang. Dang a lang. <laughs> well, then I'm just going to do like so. Now I got to move everything to my over. Over to the correct place. Yeah, now I got to move these towels over here. Well, perfect. Boom. Bam. Sham lamb. Oh, and then the floor plan thing was up there all the way through. Okay, that's fantastic. I'm going to take it off now. There we go. <laughs> I am so sorry. But all right, now everything is fixed. Now it should be the same as it is on the floor plan got my doors kind of ruined the whole mood but we are not going to talk about that anymore we are not but all right there was the whole house the whole shabang and shaboom and now i do believe it's time for a little house tour i really do indeed think it is so let's pop it on and oh wow it looks so cozy i love it i really really do look at the exterior the background as well and the rocks the many many rocks that i put up i actually tried to put on an autumn filter so the trees would be all orange and stuff but it didn't work sadly if anyone knows of a mod or a filter or a shade something that can make the world look very autumnally like even in build mode because i know that the seasons in the sims changes and so does the trees and all that stuff but when you're in the build mode that i'm in it doesn't change anything like it's all the same so i don't know what to do and i want the answers but over here we have a little outside area what is this called again a patio from like so with my kitchen my pumpkins everything and then right here we have our chicken coop i'm gonna put some chickens in there one day soon 
my little sitting area. Wow, I'm spinning around. Then another sitting area. They love to sit. They love it. Ooh, this little walkway. We're walking. I do really like the garage area as well. It's kind of neat. Kind of nice. I like it. Okay, okay. Let's step on inside. And what shall we find inside? Um, what happened to the roof? What? I am so confused. Well, uh, oh, what happened here as well? Oh, no. See, everything always goes wrong with these house doors. But anyways, entryway, people. Here's entryway. <laughs> Now we got the living room. Oh, that looks kind of nice, actually. I like that. With the fireplace and everything. Oh, cute, cute, cute. My pink, pink can. Oh, let's do a fish eye. Fish eye. Oh, that looks horrible. We're not going to do a fish eye again. No, no, no. Not look at the roof. The ceiling, I mean. But here is the little dining area. Cute, cute, cute. And the kitchen with the messed up ceiling. Do not look at it. Do not look at it. But the kitchen is so, so cute. I love the kitchen. It is adorable. And the other side as well. It's so freaking cute. With all the pink and stuff. And then in here, we have the laundry room. Bam, 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 bam. Where you can do your laundry, people? It's a sink and another wall. <laughs> and then the laundry station. Wow. Alright, so if we go in here, what shall we find in here? This is the cozy room, people. The TV and stuff. Oh, la, la. We got the piano. Oh, it's dark in here. What happened? I don't know, but something happened. But here yeah, is the little office nook. It is so freaking cute. And then the disaster we're not gonna talk about. Alright, we're not gonna talk about it. No, no, no. But can we get a little fish eye? Fish eye. Cute. Anyways, and then in here we have the bedroom. Oh, the top the bedroom. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. The little kitty radio. And the other side with the chair and stuff. Oh, I like this room. And the party too. Wow. And then we have to go in here to get to the bathroom. I mean, what a bathroom it is. Got my bathtub too. Wow, on my shelf. Got everything. And then if you go at this door, <laughs> we get into the, wor <laughs> the worst hallway we have ever seen. Now, which door do we want to go into? I don't even know. Let's try this door. Oh, we got to another hallway. Fantastic. And in here, oh, in here we have the shelf with all the naked Nice. Okay, good. And in here, it's the teen's bedroom. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I love this room so much. Like, that's fantastic. The ceiling is kind of ruining everything, though. But I'm not gonna paint the ceiling over again. Because then that's when the disaster happens, okay? I know. But I do indeed love this room so much. Oh my gosh. And then we got the bathroom. Ooh, so edgy in here. My gosh. All right. And then we go into the hallway again. Into the other hallway. Which door do we want to go for? Maybe this door? Oh, and this is the kid's bedroom. Oh, I love this bedroom. It's so nice and blue. Oh, I need to fix those curtains. Okay, ignore the curtains. I gotta fix them. But yeah, look at that little desk. That is so cute. Oh, and the freaking closets. Goody, goody, gosh. Okay, and then into the hallway again. And if you go in here, oh, this is the primary bedroom. The curtain. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm gonna fix the curtain. Alrighty, I fixed the curtains, people. Don't worry, I fixed it. <laughs> this is the primary bedroom. Wow, who would have thunk it? But this is the primary bedroom. I like it. It has some good, good vibes, actually. I'm surprised. Got bone here then you know got that old tv got the closet i'm gonna change the color of that closet i did not like that but yeah i really like this room gonna get a fish eye too oh i'm ending up in the wall okay and then for the last room of this house the garage bam, bam, ba -da -dum, bam. oh we got the car <laughs> and then the little art studio in there oh it looks so messy and nice i like that cool <laughs> and then in this corner as well you gotta squeeze in here we got the sink and everything squeeze people squeeze yeah. and we also got some more cabinets over here locker cabinets i don't know but yeah Ah, this is so cool. Okay, I like that. Ah, and that was indeed the whole freaky frackety house. And the house tour is now done. And it's time for the outro, people. And this is the outro. Welcome to the outro. <laughs> um, I really hope you like this build because I kind of like this build. It turned out kind of good. So I hope you like it too. Huh? And uh, <laughs> if for some reason you want to download this build, it is up on my gallery. And my gallery ID is just Nora Gaming. Oof. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe because it really does help me out. So um, thank you. But only if you want to. Only if you want to. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye. <laughs>